Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 3, part 126. And hey, I bought a new car off screen, just to, you know, not have to go through all that spiel. But, I bought this Toyota MRS for 9,000 credits for our next s series, E218. <laughs> Very low on power. Hell, this could have entered the uh, 150 horsepower runoff if E-Class was allowed, but it's not, so... Anyways, to our next semi-pro event, it is the Recaro sponsored 200 horsepower runoff, limited to uh, E class and no, with a 200 horsepower cap. Here's what everyone else is going to be driving, and yeah, so here we go. Let's do it. Five more races, and we're going to start with our first race at Sakuba. Sakuba. So, yeah. That's all I got. Let's, let's just fucking go, yeah? It was off screen in the context of the actual video name, so meh. Context, man. Anyways. So, here we go. Sakuba's loaded. Here's the starting grid. Hey, I'm starting 6th again, because PI. And let's see if I have as much success with this MRS as I did with the uh, MX-5 in the last segment. I'm going to guess yes. Just just saying. It's going to guess yes. So. Here we go. Revving up. Off we go. It's gonna shoot the middle here. This is not a good idea. The hole is closing. I love me plenty of room though. Oh god, and I almost ran into the back of Sasaki. Who's not driving a red car? What the fuck is this? Oh. There's there's another MX-5 that I can strongly considered purchasing for this segment just to be stupid. And be like, ha, huh, I'm using two different MX-5s in consecutive videos. It's like I'm playing Gran Turismo. Ha ha ha. Shut up, mate. But I decided to go with an actual different car. Just a, like a different model and stuff, so you know, have some kind of a uh, Thing. I don't fucking know. Was a halo? Oh god, that was a bad idea. Okay, take this in fourth gear. Confirmed. Anyways, I'm kicking uh, Sasaki's ass. Already got around him. How you doing? Not sure if better brakes or he just knows the breaking point better. I'm guessing the latter. Slowly and gonna be slowly increasing pace as we go through these series. Better get fucking used to it. Because we're just gonna start very slow, get gradually faster, and then we get to the super crazy fast cars, and then we go back to slow. Start all over again. Spoiler alert. No. Um, shut up, me. smoother in fourth gear. And I have already pulled out a 2.6 second lead. Nice. So a nice smooth drive in my MRS. Well, smooth as long as I don't do that. Just let it go flying sideways. Nice meme, Alex. Ha ha, Horizon 3 joke. Suck me. And 
looks like I'm going to have an easier time with this series than I did with the uh, 150 series, so... Cool. I guess. This car is so happy. Look how happy this thing is. I like a happy car. <laughs> oh. Oh. So you're getting an iPhone 7S. So basically your parents are one of those Apple fag lords. It's like, ooh, it's... Ugh, can't wait to lose 20 million headphones. Yeah. Isn't that like one of the features of the iPhone 7S is that it doesn't have a proper headphone jack? So basically it's stupid. Here at Apple, we have bad ideas and charge you more money. It's like, we are going to remove things and charge you more money. It's like Skype. They remove more and more features with each updated version. This is stupid. And this is why I'm never going to getting an iPhone or any kind of i thing. Anyway, I've got two laps to go here. And a five second lead. Go me. Meanwhile, Sasaki is way the fuck ahead. It has an even larger lead on Williams than I have on him. Oh, hey, you finally finished FF9. Nice, Alex. Well, that's one reason why I don't use Skype, Jamar. The other reason is Discord is just leaps and bounds better than Skype. So, you know. That's the other reason. It's like, hey, why use this that is quickly declining in quality when we can use this, which is really fucking good? Final lap. Hey, that was my best lap by point zero one two. Nice. Consistent lap times. Yeah, oh fuck. That's not how you do that turn. You're not supposed to go in the grass at all. Pay more for a jet black iPhone 7 and enjoy the beautiful fingerprints and scratches on the glossy finish. Or, alternatively, and never look at it because you have a phone case over it anyways. Yeah, that's, that's another one. It's like, ooh, I can't wait to get phone in X color. Okay, I'm now going to cover up that color with a fucking phone case anyway, so... What was the point? But hey, I just think with some form of logic, I know I'm a complete idiot, but hey, I try using logic in my thoughts, so, you know. Anyways, won the race by uh, 7 seconds over Sasaki, who had a 10 second advantage over Williams, jeez. I thought I was OP. No. Actually, by comparison, I am OP. Despite the 43 PI disadvantage. In air quotes, disadvantage. But, you know. Uh, there we go. Cars up to level 2. I believe I've reached the max discounts on the uh, level 1 Toyota side. Since I can think, I think it's like Forza 2 can only go up to 50%, so. Yay! Now let's move on to race number two. We're going back to the peninsula. Except we are doing the reverse course this time. So, oh boy.
How's the New York circuit in this game? Hard. Because of the chicanes. But fun, because of the chicanes. So anyways, yay, we get to do four more laps around the peninsula, except the other way this time. And also, inside the car instead of outside the car. Progress, no. Not really progress, just changes. Ah, shut up, me. This race. I need to shut up and drive the car. Once again, why don't I just do no commentary all these G's? But it's not a let's play unless you're talking. Shut up. So apparently I have 518 miles on this thing, just out of nowhere. Also, I also have the lead. Kind of out of nowhere, although it was expected because, you know, I'm apparently the god of standing starts compared to everyone else. Nice and tidy there on the transition, that's good. Bump the curb a little bit. Whoa, sliding. Breaking too soon. So, once again, I'm not used to driving something this slow around these tracks. Because, <coughs> you know, I'm used to supercars and race cars and shit. Oh yeah, I see the happy gauge. My damn it, Q. It's fucking happy as hell. It's like, this is a wonderful time to be alive. <coughs> Fuck. horny at 15 years old. Well, considering hormones are a thing, no. Not really. <clears throat> Why does my throat suddenly hate me? I feel another coughing fit coming. Like, my throat just suddenly just wants to die. No, I'm not sick, I'm just got a random, like, coffee feely. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere! It was more out of nowhere than Randy Orton's RKO at Backlash. Ah, uh, uh, shut up, man. Bad joke, bad joke. Alright, two to go at the peninsula, and I am way the fuck ahead. This time I have a larger lead on Sasaki than Sasaki has on, well, Esposito, since he's in third this time. Let's 
So interesting transfer. Uh, yeah, transferring off the banking and in, in car. It's about an e interesting. has the highest level cap. Well, if you're talking overall games, uh, one of the contenders is Breath of Death 7 because it doesn't have a level cap. You literally are able to level up as much as you can until the game simply crashes. Like, I think it's in the billions that you can level up to until the game just simply crashes every time you try to, like, do anything. Because it can't handle that large of a number. Best part is you can beat the game at like before level 40, so you know. You see, really, really are curious. Hey, lap consistency. That was only like half a tenth off my uh, previous lap. Jesus. Oh, Jesus, this is awful. Everything about this is terrible. Okay. Well, fuck that up. <laughs> Royally. Oh, well, at least the right gauges are still happy. Happy as hell. but didn't matter so she can't that she is extremely easy at this speed so it doesn't matter we're going wide and we're taking this sign with me don't mind me and victory hooray Here comes Sasaki in the background, 7 seconds, well, almost 8 seconds back, 7.8 behind. We have Williams in the RSX, Esposito in the Peugeot 207, Sato in the Sentra, T Taylor in the Solstice, just way, fell way back, goddamn Taylor. The hell. I mean, I know that Solstice probably doesn't have much power, but goddamn. Then again, there aren't many cars in this series that have much power. I think most of the cars in this series, if they, uh, if these were, if these series didn't have class restrictions, could probably have entered the 150 horsepower series. I'm not gonna lie. But, well. Two races down, three to go. And hey, look, we're going back to Sedona. This time we're doing the uh, forward club circuit, and we're doing one extra lap compared to the 150 horsepower series. So we could do five whole laps around here. Ooh. Isn't that cool? Isn't it? No. It's cool, I swear. Be cool as heck once this loads. Uh -huh. 
Hey, it's loaded. All right, let's go. Not even gonna let the menu actually like fade in. Just gonna go. Let's go. Five laps around Sedona Club. In my M R E S. So once again, get super crazy launch of goodness. Blow by everybody, and there we go. Already in P1 before turn one, and Taylor takes second place from Sasaki. Ooh, the adaptive AI sounds fun, K boys. So. Hooray. Yeah, car's very happy in the front. Okay. I need to do something about that downshift. called uh, throttle blip probably since I am using the clutch that would make sense it never hit me until like recently that you know throttle blip is probably a good idea hey Harry alright one lap down Four to go. And Taylor still holding up second place in his Schulsch dish. Sonic Mania if I'm able to when it comes out. Yes, absolutely. That game looks hype as fuck. Hey, look, a throttle blip actually worked. Alright. Good to know. Now if I can actually coordinate my fingers to do that consistently, I'll be fine. But yeah, Sonic Mania looks awesome. I mean, it's essentially Sonic CD 2, which is... Yeah, a good, very good thing. Okay. And four second advantage almost, not surprising. Okay, that was a little too wide. Could have taken a tighter line considering how slow my car is. Let's try not being poopy. I mean, it doesn't really matter because I'm running away with this, anyways, but you know. Somehow I'm actually able to coordinate three fingers to work in freaking cohesion here. I have no idea how. Two to go. Into the tech track. Nope, I'm not. 
not paying attention. And Luber. Damn it, that's bad. That was very, very bad. A little bit of slide. I've already seen that image, Harry. Fits of Adam Cole and Kevin Owens in the hotel room with their titles. I've seen that image. Too late, bro. I done saw it. Okay, one lap to go. Sedona. Oh yeah, it's a nice picture. But yeah. Now if only Finn Balor didn't get injured and uh, Gallows and Anderson won the tag titles. get a full Bullet Club picture. That would be incredible. Because, you know, the Bullet Club reigns over everything. At least they would if, you know, Beller didn't get injured. Sadness. But I'm streaming at 60 FPS, you dingus. Unless you're watching it like 480p, in which case, haha, no 60 FPS for you. Also, I won, yay, as if there was any doubt I was going to win. Hmm. I don't know. Also, I like how, because of all my other laps were uh, invalidated, it looks like my best lap was absolute shit. And everyone else just had like a really, really bad uh, race, except for maybe one lap. And that was not the case. But uh, there we go. So, another race down. That leaves, uh, I believe, two races to go. Yeah, because I just did uh, chase cam in that race. So, two races to go. It'd be cool if I was Bagel Club champion. I was hoping for that, but then I uh, completely shit the bed at Backlash, so. About that. Anyways, it's time to go back to New York, and hopefully I don't fuck myself over like I did with the uh, MX-5. In the last segment. In the failed attempt at this race. Because that would be dumb. Am I going to LP more Sanic games? Yes, I would like to. I still need to redo Adventure 2 and Advanced 1 and 2. Also, let's race. <sighs> second trip to New York. Second uh, fail on the first attempt because of Rex. This time it wasn't so much because of my damage, it's just because of the time I lost for my two... Uh, my two spins I had. So, guess what I get to do five more laps of? You guessed it, New York. So let's not be shit this time and actually fucking win. God damn it. I am upset with myself that I actually screwed up again at New York. Second consecutive trip. Just I am garbage. definitely just need to stay in fourth gear for that chicane. There's no reason to downshift to third. I need to remember that. Hopefully I do. Because that'd be nice. Same thing with this corner. I can just take it in fourth gear if I hit it at the right angle and the right speed like I did there. Let's bring 
down in a second. That'll work. So we'll try and heat evolution. Cowboys has, and he says he's having a grand old time with the game. This front wheel drive. Now this is a mid-engine rear wheel drive. Uber. It's an MRAS. Oh God! Please make the turn. Please make the turn. I made the turn. Whew, that was close. It. A lot of people don't like it. I'm absolutely not surprised in the slightest. Because, hey, it's new, therefore it's shit. Also, you know, it's, uh, like, you know, basically laying the foundation. Therefore it's shit. But, you know, I'm dumb, so... <laughs> Keep slowing down too soon. Still not used to these slower cars. Also, I just realized I think the uh, the in-game tack and the in-car tack are out of sync. Yep, they definitely are. I just realized that. Yeah, it's 2016. Therefore, it's shit. At least it's not like No Man's Sky. If this was No Man's Left Turn, I'd be thoroughly sad, like, just disappointed and just why. The anticipation for it. Hey, look, the hype train is what made people disappointed. What a fucking shock. It's like people get way, way, way too overhyped over something, thinking it's the next coming of Christ, and then, oh no, it's not. Therefore, the game is absolute shit. So. But yeah. Kerplunkin. Just like Watch Dogs in No Man's Sky. And pretty much every AAA game. Hey, remember Project Cars? Oh, fuck. Careful with that chicane, Jesus. I'm having enough trouble getting around this place well in five consecutive laps. I will say it's it's slightly disappointing that you know the uh, the engine sounds are the same as the old NASCAR Heat games, but I'll give them a slight benefit of the doubt on that one. Make this game is bad because the menu sounds are bad. <laughs> Anyways, final lap here at New York. Let's hope I don't fuck this up again. Oh god. Simulation physics doesn't mean burnout. Or excuse me, it's not like arcade means burnout and simulation means need for speed. 
It's like, hey, you actually have to attempt to drive the car. Whoa. What a shock. It's like what I'm doing right now. So this is a more of a simulation style game, although, you know, there's it's not like full on sim. But you know. Anyways, I'm just going to shut up about NHE and probably eat my words later. I don't fucking know, but hey, I won at New York after two tries because I'm a goddamn retard. <laughs> fucking crashing my car. It's like I didn't really crash, it's just I hooked the wall through a chicane and spun and did that twice and just lost enough time to uh, not. Like, I lost too much time to catch up on Sasaki. Oh, come on. I haven't had any controller issues throughout this entire stream, all two segments I've recorded so far. Despite me streaming for two hours now. Uh, these segments are getting longer, oh no. Can you use the D-pad to steer? That sounds like an awful fucking idea. Like an awful idea. So, anyways, time to go to our final race of the 200 horsepower runoff. We're going to Catalonia, the national circuit. So, time for Catalonia. The track that killed a man this year. I'm going to shut up about that. I really should shut up about that. Uh. Yes, my stream title has to do with Horizon 3. Because I'm a dumbass. I mean, jokes are a thing. So, yeah. Anyways. Who died? I forget who. It was, it was in MotoGP, like, practice or qualifying or something. Uh, crashed into a turn and was dead from that crash. Excuse me, pardon me, come through everybody. Oh, I saw those sparks. Not sure from contact or just thing. Yeah, Louis Salome, that's it. That's who perished. That was Salome, not Salem. Jeez, learn how to vowels now. Okay, can't quite do the chicane full throttle. GP rider. But yeah, going into this turn, which they actually don't use the chicane section here. Well, they didn't, but he went off at that turn that I just went inside of, and uh, yeah, which prompted him to use this uh, chicane section in the actual race. Down four to go. Here, Catalonia. And I already have an almost four second lead. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Okay, please, car. Thank you. I don't know how fast he was going when he hit the wall. Oh, 
shnikes, I am going off into the grass and I'm going very wide, almost into the other grass. Cars qualifying right now. Oops. Also, you know, um, speaking of this year's, this year in car games, I really want F116 just to do like the practice mini games. I don't know why. Like, I really am interested in the career mode in F1 2016. It looks really fucking cool. And goddamn it, I want to make Force India the number one team. Cause Force India is cool. Talk about Ultimate Underdog Story. They were the worst team in F1 when they were starting out. Now they're like the fourth or fifth best team. Okay, see ya, Cubbies. Um, I don't know if people play this game online anymore. I haven't bothered to check. Because I don't care to check. People, yeah, I've heard people have made Manor the number one team. And Salver. Hello, I am dumb. I've also heard where, like, the AI has turned Mercedes into the top team, and from the top team to the super top team. This is an MRS, Talos. You can even see the MRS badge on the right side. Now, it's not so much communities died in this game, it's just they moved on to the, you know, newer Forza games. Want to get Sauber number one? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what team I would want to, like, do in the career mode other than Force India be honest. Like, Force India, maybe McHonda. Or Williams. Cause isn't Williams like one of the shitty teams this year? Cables, have you ever thought of turning up the difficulty? Jeez, qualifying 17th early on. Wow, wow. I don't know. I just realized I have a v like almost half a mile up on Sasaki. 10.9 seconds, Jesus. I wonder if you can pick number 91 in Heat Evolution. I hope you can. Both that and F1 2016, because 91, bro, that's my number. It could be either Jeff Bird or since he referenced number 199 because they're to Daytona. It could be uh, Pat, put, 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 Travis Pastrana. Oh, no 91. That makes me sad. That makes me a sad faggot. We are now finished, well, 
now we are finished with the race and the 200 horsepower runoff. Yay! I win by a fuckload. Oh, I can only choose 8, 28, 36, 99. Well then. That's less choices than I was think I was expecting. You think they let you be able to choose like any number that's not currently used, but nope, just those four. Oh well. It's not that big of a deal, but yeah. Stuff. So, hey, I won, yay. Got my car up to level four. And yeah. Stuff. I don't fucking know. And a little extra money. Or a little more money for the overall win. So there we go. Second runoff complete. So next time on Forza 3, we're going to bump the cap up to up another 50 horsepower in one more class. And we'll do the 250 horsepower runoff. So stay tuned for that.